Let's rewind back to about 10 days ago when the Bucks and Heat were playing each other on the final weekend of the regular season. Milwaukee had already wrapped up the three seed in the East, but Miami was still jostling for positioning in the super tight middle area of the standings, which meant that the Bucks had an interesting opportunity. Did they want to rest their key players and just let the Heat get the W? If they went that route, it would totally reorder the postseason bracket. The Heat would have climbed to the fifth spot to play the Hawks in the first round, while the Bucks would have drawn the Knicks and gotten to avoid the Miami team that bumped them out of the playoffs last year. It was tempting, surely, but in the end, the Bucks decided to bet on themselves. They had been working all season to make this year's Milwaukee squad different shifting everything from playing style to personnel, and they truly believed they had built a tougher, smarter group. What better way to test that then than to face down the same opponent that had bullied them just a year earlier? So the Bucks decided to play that regular season game to win. They indeed ended up with the Miami Heat in the first round of the playoffs, and in the time since, have shown exactly why they were not scared of the matchup. They won game one with a scrappy effort in overtime, and in last night's game two, Oh my, the Bucks didn't just blow the doors off the heat. They blew away the engine, the bumpers, the windshield wipers. In the first quarter alone, they sank one, two, three, four. You can count them with me as they go across the screen here. Up to 10 three-pointers, 10. By the time the quarter was over, Milwaukee was up by 26 points. That is tied for the largest first quarter lead a team has ever had in the history of the NBA playoffs which is saying something considering the history of the NBA playoffs goes back 75 years. Saying even more was the way the Bucks jumped out to that huge number. Drew Holiday managed the offense like a maestro, picking at Miami's double teams, feeding hot-handed reserve Bryn Forbes. Giannis kept pressure in the interior, and the Bucks as a whole were relentless defensively, especially in transition. And they stayed that way for the rest of the game, keeping their discipline even after um, this happened in the third quarter. Watch Trevor Ariza here. He takes Giannis down right under the hoop. Oh. Different, different, different one here, but here we've got Giannis do a little soccer dribble during a stoppage in play. You can keep, keep going here, obviously showing with the stare down there, uh, you know, how he felt about how threatening the Heat were at that moment. Afterward, Giannis noted he actually wanted to be a soccer player when he was growing up in Greece, which I understand, but also I would say he ended up picking the profession that, as we saw last night, suits him a whole lot better. Milwaukee now up 2-0 in this series. And if we look at past patterns in the NBA, teams that win the first two games of a seven-game series, they go on to win 94% of the time. Not bad for a Bucks team who about 10 days ago decided they didn't need to run from anyone and are now going out and proving why. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.